This video sponsored by, Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today we will see part 2 of the digital product promo, if you are here for the first time, please watch the first part of the digital product promo, you can find a link in the description box or i button, let's see first what we are going to create. So let's get started. Design your project better and faster, with Envato Elements, get over 5 million stock assets and ready to use templates for your next project, create more with premium design assets, video templates, mockups, fonts, presentation, photos, audio file, and more. All this come with commercial licenses for extra peace of mind. I also get my subscription for a couple of years, get unlimited downloads with Envato Elements, and start creating today. For more detail find the first link in the description. As I said earlier, please watch the first part of this video, so you can better understand what will be happening here. As you saw in our part 1 video, we have done our grid flooring, product reveal, and product reflection part. Now I want the same grid floor effect bottom side of the product, so duplicate the both grid floor layers, and pre-compose them. And I called this product grid floor. Convert as a 3D layer. Rotate and resize the layer. and adjust just below the product. Also move the layer few frame forward, when our product visible. Make sure turn on collapse transformation icon. Rotate and resize. And adjust below the product. Take your time and adjust them. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After adjust the layer, select ellipse tool and create a mask like this. And increase the mask feather. Cool. Now create our text left side of the comp, so create a new composition, I call this text 1. Select text tool and type your text. Now animate the text, so open text layer, and add position, and opacity. Go to first frame, and move the position left side of the composition and opacity 0%, then open range select a 1, then advance, change shape, ramp up, and add a keyframe on offset, and change amount minus 100%, then go to around 1 and half second forward, and change amount 100%. Here we have delay expression, so copy the expression. Select animate to 1 and add expression selector. Open expression selector 1, hold alt key and click on stopwatch icon, and paste it here. Cool. You can move the keyframe little forward. Perfect. Now add product description. And also animate this. So open text layer and add position and opacity. Change Y position around 200. 
and opacity 0%, then open range selector 1, then advance, and change shape ramp up. Now animate offset, so go to first frame, and add a keyframe and change offset amount minus 100%, then go to 1 and half second forward, and change offset amount 100%. Now add the same expression, select animator 1, and add expression selector. Open expression selector 1. Now add the same delay expression on amount. So here is a tip for those who not know how to find the expression on any After Effects project file. Select the layer which we have already add an expression, and double press, E, on your keyboard. Click on this expression and copy. Hold Alt and click on stopwatch icon, and paste it here. Also change the based on character to lines. Cool. And move the layer few frame forward. Now add our price text, so copy the first text layer, move bottom of the description, and type your text. I want to change the animation position of the text, so open text layer, then animator 1, and change the position x0, and position y100. Also move the layer few frame forward. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now go to main comp and drag text comp into the timer line. Move the layer few frame forward, when our product visible. Cool. Now add some shadow bottom of the text, so select ellipse tool, and create a shape like this. Then search Gaussian blur effect. Increase the blurriness around 23. And change the layer opacity around 20%. And move the layer when our text appear on screen. And also animate the opacity, so go to the first frame of the layer, and add a keyframe. And change opacity 0%. Then go to few frame forward, and change the opacity 20%. Perfect. Now create new solid layer. And this is our particles layer. Make sure your solid should be in white color. Then search CC star burst effect. Increase scatter around 1000. Speed point 10. Grid spacing 1. And size 70. Make sure your all layers should be 3D layer. Now create a camera. I am using 35mm preset camera, then create an all layer. And convert as a 3D layer, parent your camera with null layer. Now we need to animate this, so open position and rotation. Go to around 1 second forward and add a keyframe on position and orientation. Then go to few frame back and move Z position, far from the camera. And also change the Y orientation. Let's move both keyframe to the first frame. Now go to around 2 second forward, and add a keyframe. Then again go to 1 second forward and move the Z position out of the camera. I think we need to move these keyframes 1 second forward. 
Now select the camera layer, go to first frame and add a keyframe on position, then go to around 10 second forward, and slightly move the Z position, close to the camera. So this will give a continuous movement to our composition. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now we need to add camera shake effect. So create a new null layer. And I called this wiggle. Then search slider control effect. I call this position. Then duplicate the slider control. And I called this rotation. Now lock the effect control panel. Because we need this. Now our panel is locked. So whatever layer I click. It won't move. Now select camera layer. Press P for position, and R for rotation. Now we need to add wiggle expression, so hold Alt key and click on stopwatch icon, and type wiggle expression. Select the last number. Then drag pick whip and parent with position control. Similarly add wiggle expression on orientation. And parent with rotation control. Perfect. Now select the wiggle layer and you can also unlock the effect control panel. Go to first frame, and add a keyframe on both slider control, then go to 4 to 5 frame forward, and change the position 5, and rotation 2. Then again go to 4 to 5 frame forward, and make both amount 0. Select all keyframes and move little forward. Cool. Now go to 2 to 3 second forward, when our out animation start, and add a keyframes. Then go to few frame forward, and change the position slider 5, and rotation 2. Again go to few frame forward, and change both amount 0. Cool. Now create new adjustment layer. And search optics compensation effect. And move the layer when our out animation start. Go to effect control panel, and check reverse lens distortion and add a key on field of view, then go to few frame forward, and change the amount around 80%. I think we should move the keyframe little closer. Now select all in all one keyframes, and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Perfect, it's look good to me. Select all layers and pre-compose them. And this is our scene 1. Now go to project window and drag the light leak footage into the timeline. And change mode normal to screen. Resize the layer a little bit. Now select the layer and search curves effect, and adjust the curves. Now duplicate the light leak footage, select the bottom layer and search tint effect. Move the tint above the curves effect. And change the color as per your choice. Rotate the light leak footage. And adjust bottom left corner side of the comp.
I want to change the color a little bit. Now create a new solid layer, then select ellipse tool and create a mask like this. Select the layer and search fill effect, and change your color. Open mask property and increase mask feather. And also turn down the layer opacity. Move the layer a little bit bottom side of the comp. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now create scene 2, so duplicate the scene layer, then move scene 2 layer, when our first out animation end. Then go to project window, and duplicate the scene 1 here, hold alt key and drag scene 2 into the timeline. Now open scene 2. Now replace product reveal comp layer. I am moving this part little fast forward so that you don't have to wait. Now open reveal 2 and replace the medium 1 comp also. After replace the medium 1 also replace product 1 comp layer, then replace placeholder 1. Now change your image. Also replace the product reveal reflection layer with product reveal 2. And also replace the text one layer. Now change your text. You can also move the product position. Perfect, our animation has done. Hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.